All right, hello everyone. So I did a video where I was talking about the cost of content for a YouTube channel that's about collectibles. And my choice of collectibles, of course, is silver and coins, basically. And I showed some standing Liberty Quarter that was like this one, slicked with no date. This one's got a hole in it. And someone, Slick Rose, made a comment on my video that it's scrap. Of course it's scrap. A lot of these coins, if they're common dates, which most of these are fairly common, in these standing Liberty Quarters, I've been able to get reasonably cheap, uh, near melt. If you can buy them right around melt and they're dateless, that's fine. And uh, the other things I showed was this piece dollar that's been cut out. It is a San Francisco mint coin, but that doesn't matter. And this 21 Morgan, which is cut out. Now these coins, this really is scrap. These were saved from the melter, in my opinion, because that's probably where this would go. And um, it's just to be off to be melted as scrap or sold at scrap prices. And that's about what I paid for it, was a scrap type price. But one thing I do know about this is it'll film well for uh, YouTube. And people might be willing to watch a video showing coin like this, just because you don't see it very often. Now I have a Walking Liberty somewhere that's also cut out like that. And um, I might have a Mercury Dime too. But this stuff is scrap, but scrap has use. It's just weight, basically, is all this is. And I know the value of this only goes up and down with whatever the silver price is. If silver goes up, it could be worth something. If it would double from where it is. See, this one's the Orleans Mint, 1908. But it's very slick. But if... Silver, and here's some dimes in here. They're pretty toasty. But if silver would go up, say twice, or just say it hit $40, the melt on this would be more, well more than I paid for it. And at what time then I could take this entire dish of stuff I bought last year, most of which was bought at or near melt, and sell it as uh, melt coins basically melt value coins that is that's the stacker mentality a lot of stackers buy this stuff just for the its value and weight of silver I forgot I had one of these barber halves in this wonder if it has a mm, I don't see a mint mark it would have been right below the tail of the eagle. It's a 1903. But th I know it's scrap. Anyway, what are your comments and thought process on it? I mean, some people like to buy coins. Here's a piece dollar with a hole drilled in it and a little hoop. They like to buy this kind of stuff. You know, the more collectible coins. And you can spend quite a bit on some of these. Not this one though, a 22 piece dollar isn't real valuable. I, but there are some. If you ever find one of these barber halves in mint state, you're going to pay a lot for it. So yeah, I know this stuff is scrap. And that's, that's perfectly fine with me because you just build up a good sized pile of it. And then if the value goes up, that's when you can sell it to someone. And make money if you feel like you need to do it so, so like I said I'd like any comments and in, in thought processes on 
whether or not you would buy scrap silver like this. Basically at scrapper price.